We are just months away from the busy summer travel season. Hotels are eyeing a big rebound in travel. And our next guest says he also sees business travel picking up. BW Hotel Group, BW H Hotel Group President and CEO Larry Kukulik joins us this morning. And Larry, it's good to talk to you today. Uh, we've seen a number of airlines reporting this week who've essentially said, look, even with those higher prices stemming from higher gas prices, travelers aren't necessarily backing off because there's a lot of pent up demand. What are you seeing in the hospitality space? You're seeing that uh, the same as the airlines are. We have had a very strong spring season and we are anticipating, uh, consistent with projections uh, of experts, a, a tremendously strong summer season. Uh, and first of all, thank you for inviting me to your program as well. Um, when I assumed this new responsibility about five months ago, uh, you interviewed me, and I remember that well. And I wanted to thank you for continuing to follow BWH Hotel Group. But yes, we are expecting a tremendously strong summer season. Hey, Larry, it's Brian Chung here. No, it's, I mean, we appreciate you bringing the commentary. I mean, obviously, this hotel space is, a, I'm sure, interesting time for you to kind of come on, come on board for in this chapter of the recovery. What are you seeing on the price side of things? Because that was a big story for hotels and motels during the recovery was not being able to get the volume back into the hotels. But it seems like occupancy rates are coming back despite this BA2 wave. Uh, have you also been able to exercise some price increases to uh, kind of recover some of the margins? We absolutely, great question. We absolutely have to see prices, uh, average daily rate increase. Um, the cost of doing business for our hoteliers is increasing, of course, as well. The cost of the breakfasts we provide, utility costs, insurance costs. And uh, consumers see that in their daily lives. And, and as a result, we believe from a common sense approach, they understand that our hoteliers uh, have to ensure that they're getting a fair and reasonable price for the accommodations they're providing. Um, what's special about Best Western BWH Hotel Group is you know, we have 18 brands of hotels across all segments from economy up to luxury. And so while rates may go up, um, as inflation does, um, we think that we have a hotel that can uh, meet the needs of any traveler across all segments. Larry, we have seen um, business travel a, a little slower to pick up back to 2019 levels, but I have seen on a personal level more conferences being held in person, you know, more events that are being planned. What kind of impact has that had on your occupancy rates? Well, um, I think American Hotel and Lodging Association and Calibri Labs have both estimated that um, during 2022, we will return to approximately 80% of, I'll call it the business travel segment. But at the same time, we see the statistics and we see it, for example, in our best Western premier hotel group, us being up near, uh, I'll call it 30% year over year in the business travel segment, midweek business. So it is, in fact, returning. Um, about two weeks ago, I attended the Asian American Hotel Owners Association annual convention uh, and, and uh, thousands of participants. Uh, a week from now, I'm going to IHIF in Berlin. And again, thousands of participants. There is this pent up business demand that is, is coming back. And that's really consistent with um, what we see through the experts like Cvent, who said that, uh, who recently said that um, meetings of, I'll call it over 100, are going to be up 20 percent year over year. So you know, it had the biggest, uh, uh, the pandemic had its biggest impact on that segment, and it now has, I think, the greatest opportunity to grow in 2022 and 2023, and that's what we're actually seeing. Um, you know, I, I'll make this. Oh, go ahead, Brian. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, is that the target demo for the new brand that you're launching or relaunching, uh, VIB, Viv Vibe? Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, it's an obviously interesting new format that you're trying to play around with. Who's the target demo for that product? And tell us a little bit more about it. Sure. Vibe is a vibe. boutique -ish brand. <laughs> vibe. Yeah, like in Cool Vibe. Um, uh, the, the Vibe brand is a boutique brand that we are, I'll call it reinitiating, relaunching. 
uh, it was it's intended really for a, a piece of land that has a smaller footprint, but it's boutique-ish in that it has a huge meeting space. The one that we opened about two, three weeks ago in Tempe, Arizona, um, has a large meeting space. It's got uh, a vi uh, excuse me, a bar. It has uh, a coffee bar. Uh, it has, we actually entered into a franchise with Cousins Main Lobster um, to, to draw in street traffic as well. It's, it's intended to be a hotel that welcomes guests and provides them that unique boutique-ish experience. You know, we also have an emphasis on our soft brands, BW Premier Collection and Signature Collection, and we recently acquired World Hotels. Uh, those are collection brands that don't have, I'll call it the hard brand standards, because what we're seeing is guests want that experience, not just a place to stay, but they want that common space, a large lobby where they can meet and interact with others and, and enjoy their stay, not just a commodity. Mm, lobster, that sounds good. I'll have to go check it out. Larry Kakulik, BWH Hotel Group President and CEO. Thanks for stopping by and we'll have you on again very soon. Appreciate it.